Hi, and welcome to another episode of A Gorilla Travels. We are in a city that's married to the sea. It was built in a crazy place in the middle of a lagoon, and it inspired artists from all over the world in music, poetry and painting. But above all, it's known for its mystic masked carnival, its romantic elegance, and its incredible beauty. We are, of course, in Venice. Let me show you around. Venice, who doesn't know Venice? The Venetians designed it as an exceptional place, the center of religious, civic and commercial life. A city protected by its lagoon and blessed by the Saint Mark. The square we are standing on right now was and still is Venice's main public square. It's called Piazza San Marco, after Saint Mark and houses some important landmarks. Saint Mark's Basilica in front of you is the centerpiece of the square. The church houses the body of Saint Mark, which Venetian merchants stole from Alexandria and brought to Venice in the year 829. They constructed the church soon after. Through the centuries it has been adjusted and redecorated many times, which explains the mixed styles of architecture and decorations. Right next to the Basilica, you'll find the St. Mark's Campanile, an impressive 98 meter high bell tower. It is said that Galileo himself used the tower as an observatory to study the skies. There even is an elevator that goes to the top of the tower. The Republic of Venice, which existed from the 8th till the 18th century, was ruled over by the Doge, a chief magistrate elected for life by the Venetian nobles. He was kind of a combination between the Pope and the President, an absolute ruler. The palace you see in front of you was the house the Doge lived in, that's why it's known as Doge Palace. These days it houses a museum. The square is still a great place to wander around or have a bite and enjoy the beautiful views. Around the corner you find a special bridge. This city is full of mystic and beauty, but the overhanging bridge you see here stands for a much darker reality. It once connected a government building to the city prison and convicts crossing the bridge had one last beautiful view over the city before losing their freedom and often their lives. And as the story goes, many of them sighed in realization of this grim future. And that's why it became known as the Bridge of Sighs. Poor souls, 